welcome to this episode of Cambridge Zoocasts. My name is Matthew Hayes and I'm joined this week by Marion, who's going to tell us a little bit about the work she does. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, my name is Marion Strucker. I'm an AMPHIL student here in the Insect Biomechanics Workgroup at the Department of Zoology. So Marion, could you tell us a bit about the work that you do? Uh, sure. Um, as part of the Insect Biomechanics Group, I'm working with uh, the adhesion abilities of stick insects. Oh, very so good. I'm looking uh, into how can they actually adhere so effortlessly onto various substrates and then within milliseconds, just like that, they can detach again. So if you think of a, a stick insect or an ant that is walking, it's constantly attaching and detaching. That's really cool, I never really thought about that like that. Yeah, so does that have other applications, potentially that kind of technologies that could lead to or something? Or? Yeah, actually um, I studied biomimetics in my undergrad uh, back in Germany. And I'm very much interested in this interdisciplinary work. So adhesion is actually right between biology and engineering. Mm -hmm. I think if you understand how insects are able to adhere, that obviously leads to very new and innovative adhesives, potentially. But you can also think uh, the reverse way. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the limit of adhesion, you could possibly maybe find a spray or some kind of paint which is insect repellent without any toxins. So just uh, some insect wouldn't be able to stick on it and just fall off. And that could actually also um, change the way we use pesticides in the future. Sounds really cool. Yeah, it's always good to have a, like a motivation. Definitely, I, I find that as well when I'm asked like, why do you do what you do? And it's yes. like, well, it does actually have a real purpose yes. as well. Be able to explain that is really cool. Sure. <laughs> So that sounds like a really complicated thing to actually measure. How, how do you go about doing that? <laughs> well, uh, actually, uh, we have different setups. So on the one hand, we have a centrifuge mm -hmm. with which you can um, kind of measure the whole body attachment of insects. But we also have a very delicate fiber optical setup with which you are actually able to measure the adhesion force of a single pad of an insect. Wow. And in this very you know, defined um, kind of environment, if you change just a few parameters, you can learn a lot about the fundamentals of a adhesion. So it's that sensitive that a single pound yes. insect. You have to be actually very careful with the setup. So sure. it takes so you a while. Breathe on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't breathe actually. Okay. Not on it. In, in a different direction actually. <laughs> so yeah, you have to be very careful, and you have to make sure that there are no vibrations in the building and so on. And yeah, it takes a while to actually get into the setup. But yeah, it's, I really enjoy it. Awesome. Have you always been interested like specifically in this area of research or is it something that's kind of changed for you over time? Yeah, the first time I was in the insect biomechanics group, um, I actually didn't really like the insects so much. Okay. Um, so I was really here for the biomechanics. Um, but now over time I can say I really got attached to my, uh, my uh, study animals, the stick insects. So it really changed over time and I'm really happy to deal with all sorts of insects now. That makes me very happy as an <laughs> yes, entomologist, yes. so that's great. <laughs> They're really cute. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you are doing a one-year MPhil course, is that right? Yeah, that's true. So that's the same thing I did instead of going straight to PhD. I was wondering if you had any particular reason why you did a one-year course. What I really liked about this master in zoology department is, is that it is purely research master. So you can really focus on your own research project. I think this gives you um, an idea um, of what you would expect as, in a life as a scientist or a career as a scientist. And I think I really wanted to, you know, have a look at it, have a glimpse at it too. first. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I also really um, enjoy the flexibility that comes with this master's actually. So I had the chance um, to um, audit some of the lectures of the sustainable engineering master in my time, you know, and I think, you know, if you're willing to invest a lot of time and work, you will actually benefit from it. So I really enjoyed this master here in the program. You were mentioning that you obviously try to make the most out of your time and you now have a very flexible course so you can choose what you do a bit more. What do you do outside of work when you're not studying your sick insects? Oh, well, that's a good question. So I think here in Cambridge, you have just a lot of opportunities. So for example, joining the lectures is one of them, but I also try to um, go to many as many events as I can do. For example, there are a lot of 
amazing talks from outstanding speakers, um, not only in the department, but also in all other departments. And usually they're open to everyone. So I try to make, um, yeah, to use my time to go to a lot of events. Um, I joined the Yoga Society and the Expedition Society and the Science Society, so some societies. And um, also actually the department offers a lot of events as well. Mm -hmm. So I joined this rare books tour through the zoology library. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, it's really fantastic. You should check it out. Should, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're showing you really rare and old and original books. They're just amazing. And yeah, they had these beautiful drawings of birds and insects. And for example, also the original of the origin of species by Darwin. So. It's really amazing what we I can... did not know they had that. Yeah, really? you, should, you should really wow, okay. do that. Yeah, that. <laughs> amazing, we could have a look at this. So I think not only the department, but also the whole university uh, in Cambridge is amazing to be at and you can spend a great time here. Well, it sounds like you've been having a great time. Thank you very much for joining us today. Best of luck for the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>